for this panorama project I'm going to open up some TIFF files that I've processed from the Adobe Camera Raw files. So we'll come up to the file menu and choose open. I'm going to go to the MP8 DVD and choose from the TIFF folder. We go into the module 3 and we go into the pano projects. There's a number of them here. I've got a total of five so I'll select them all and then select open. These will open into the edit space and what we're going to do then is we're going to go to the file menu and go down to new and then come across to photo merge panorama. With the photo merge dialog we just need to add open files and we're going to choose the auto layout which gets things right most of the time and then we'll select OK. Depending on the resolution of the files that you're working with, this may take some time for Photoshop to align all of the component images and then seamlessly blend them together. When Photoshop has aligned and blended the images, you might find that you have a near perfect result. In this image, I just need to crop away the transparency that we can see around the edges. So I'll select the crop tool and then click in the top left hand corner and drag along. I'm going to float the cropping marquee by pressing the space bar so I can select more of the left hand side and the bottom. Now we have a little bit of transparency selected in the top right hand corner but I don't want to uh, create a, a narrower crop so I'm going to live with this transparency and then replace some of the sky. I'll hit the return enter key to commit that crop. Now I'm going to stamp the visible layers into a new layer. I'll use the keyboard shortcut for this operation. On a Mac that's Command Option Shift and on a PC that's Control Alt Shift and then hit the letter E whilst holding down the modifier keys. And this gives me the stamp visible layer. We're going to create an empty new layer on top of this. And then I'm going to select the stamp tool from the tools panel here. Select the Clone Stamp tool and in the Options bar select Sample All Layers option. OK, select a large brush size for this, a soft edge, and then hold down the Alt or Option key and then click just below the area of transparency that you can see. And then come up to the transparency area and then paint in. We're using a brush at 100% opacity for this job. I'm just going to make one more selection, Alt, Option, click and then move over and finish that last piece of transparency there. OK, once I've done that I can merge this layer down if I'm happy with the result. So we'll just come and select Merge Down, that's Command or Control E. OK, now that's a pretty good job but what I'm noticing here is although the, uh, the, the seams uh, are, are fairly well concealed, i.e. I can't see where the joins of these images are, I'm noticing that the horizon line is just a little bit crooked. Let's just zoom in and take a closer look at this. There's a small undulation in this horizon line and there's actually a small break in the horizon line just in the center of the image. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and repair and patch this area. I'm going to select the Marquee tool and I, in the Options bar I'm going to select a zero feather. I'm going to click just below the horizon line and then drag a long selection just below that horizon line. Again I can hold down the Command or Space bar to float that selection at any time. And then Release. Let's just move the Layers panel, collapse the Layers panel out of view so we can see what we're doing here. OK, what I'd like to now do is move that horizon line down onto the top of this selection that we have here. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to the Select menu and choose Inverse. And now we have everything but this central area selected. Remember we can only edit the selected pixels and so now the pixels above this uh, selection edge are now selected. We're going to now come up to the Filter menu, come down to Distort and across to liquify. Now in the liquify dialog I'm going to need to zoom in. You'll see a central red area which is a frozen area of pixels and what I'm going to do is I'm going to liquify or distort the pixels down onto this frozen area. Let's just zoom in to around 50%. Okay. 
So we can see the low point on the horizon line here now. I'm selecting the uh, warp tool up here in the top left hand corner of the liquefier dialog. And then I'm going to select a large brush size. Here I've selected a 400 pixel brush. And I'm going to select the brush pressure at around 20%. You can use a slightly lower pressure if you want to do this in stages. And now I'm going to click and drag down onto the frozen area of pixels. You might need to click a couple of times as we move that horizon line down. Now the area behind the red frozen area will not move. And so what we're doing is we're creating a straight area of horizon. As I said, you might need to come across several times in order to push this horizon line down onto this frozen area. Slowly working my way along. Now I'm going to use the space bar to move over to the right hand side of that horizon and start on this area. OK, once I'm happy that that horizon line is straight, by panning back across, I'm going to click or select OK in the Liquify dialog. And this will process the results into that stamp visible layer that we created. And there, the horizon line snapping into place. If I want to view the horizon line without the selection edge, just come up to the View menu and just choose selection. The pixels are still selected, they're just hidden from view or the selection edge is hidden from view. This will help you ascertain whether the horizon line is straight or not. Let's just bring back the selection again. View, selection. You can still work with the selected pixels. Remember the selected pixels are still outside of this area by using perhaps one of the tools from the tools panel such as smudge which also allows you to push pixels around. I'm just going to hide the selection or perhaps I should even lose the selection by going to the select deselect option. One of the problems about moving pixels along a frozen edge in liquify is some of the edges become overly sharp. In order to counteract this we can choose the blur tool with a strength of 50% and then increase the size of the brush and then just run along the horizon line a couple of times just to soften up that edge so it doesn't look too sharp. Okay, especially where we've been working with that warp tool along that edge. And that sh should be fine now. Let's just zoom in a couple of times. Command plus on a Mac or Control plus on a PC just to zoom in. The horizon line is very straight in here, but if you do find that you have a break in the horizon line, we can create a patch. Again, select the rectangular marquee tool, and this time enter in a feather of around 10 pixels. Make a long, narrow selection around a good part of the horizon line, and then we can float that by going Command-C or Control-C on a PC to copy them to the clipboard and then Command V or Control V on a PC to paste them onto a new layer. Let's just go Command T on a Mac or Control T to enter the free transform. We can now move these pixels into position. As you can see we have a nice soft edge so we should be able to disguise them well. We can also come up to the out, outer ba uh, handles of the bounding box and rotate if required. We can also use the up and down arrow keys to nudge this new patch into position before committing what we have. If for any reason we have a colour mismatch between the patch and the horizon or water alongside the patch, this can be easily fixed as well. We'll just create another new layer by clicking on the Create a New Layer icon. Set the mode to colour. Select the brush tool in the tools panel and then sample an area of good colour by holding down the Alt Option key and clicking on an area of the good colour. Lower the opacity of the brush and then paint in the area to paint with that colour into the new or patched area. In this way we should be able to create a seamless horizon line 
that is absolutely straight. What I'm going to do now is just finish up the image by creating a, a little bit more mid-tone contrast and then sharpening the image. Let's just zoom out by going to View and Fit on Screen. We're going to uh, stamp the visible elements to a new layer. Command Option Shift or Control Alt Shift and then tap the letter E on the keyboard to stamp the visible layers into a new layer. We're going to remove the colour from this layer. Command Shift U or Control Shift U in order to remove the colour from this layer. We'll then set the blend mode to soft light which is a contrast blend mode. We're now going to come up to the filter menu, come down to other and then choose high pass. OK let's move the high pass filter out of the way and also the layers panel. I'm looking at the uh, mid-tone contrast around the beach here. I'm just going to zoom in. I'll just do command or control plus a couple of times so I can see the detail along the beach. I'm going to move the radius slider in the high pass filter down. You can see less mid-tone contrast and uh, moving it higher we actually create more depth in and around these images. Somewhere between 60 and 70 pixels for these 12 megapixel images is about ideal and now I'll select OK. If the effect is just a little bit too high we can actually lower the opacity of this layer. I'm happy with this uh, effect so what I'm going to do now is stamp visible again. Command Option Shift or Control Alt Shift and then E in order to stamp visible once again. I'll just call this layer my sharpen layer. and We'll set the blend mode to luminosity to avoid any saturated edges when we've sharpened. And then I'm going to come up to the Enhance menu, choose Unsharp Mask. And now I'm going to choose around about 150% for the amount, a 1 pixel radius and a threshold of 3. We can zoom into 50% to get an accurate view of the sharpening for this particular image. I'm happy with this level of sharpening so I'll commit that by selecting OK. And now we'll go to View and Fit on Screen.